Welcome to Holy Grail Algo, simplified trading. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Holy Grail Algo is not liable for any loss or damages which may result directly or indirectly from such content. Thanks for watching another Holy Grail Algo video. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up some hotkeys and explain how we use them when we trade. In a previous video, I did mention the use of hotkeys with our automated alerts. Um, and that's that's essentially what I'm going to show you here today. So in your in your control center, you're going to want to go to tools and you'll see the option hotkeys. It's just below the database management. And on hotkeys, I'll show you the ones that I have set up here, the ones that I think are the most important, which have to do with with the alerts. Um, I have firstly, I have control A set up. And you can just configure that right here. You click in here and it'll say control or uh, record your alert. So I hit control A and that is what it is now set up for. And then you'll just hit apply once you have this set up. But I also have not only to show me the alerts pop up window, I also have an option to quickly disable and to quickly enable the alerts. Uh, for disable, it's just control alt D and enable it's control alt E. Once I get in the or once I get those all in there, I hit apply and I hit OK. And this is just going to say that this is only active when you're on a chart. If you have a window up like this hotkeys window, the hotkeys themselves will not work or any other pop-up box. You can hit don't show this message again, hit OK. Now I'm going to show you here really quickly. I'm going to hit Control A. And here you go. It pulls up the alerts for me. And you can see that these are both enabled, which is what you would want at first. Now, you are going to want to disable these, though, once you actually get into a trade. You want to do this just in case we actually get another alert the opposite direction. If this were to happen, what it's essentially going to do is just completely close you out of the trade. Because if you're long and we get a short, it's going to sell and it's basically going to cancel that trade out. Um, so what I do, now that I know that these are enabled, let's say I'm in a trade, let's say I'm in this long and I'm worried about a short coming up, all I have to do on my keyboard is control alt D and I'll pull up the alert window real quick for you to see. They're now disabled. So I can let this long go until it's over. And then once the trade is over, obviously you're gonna wanna re-enable these. So you hit control alt E and I'll show you again. Just like that, they're re-enabled and I'm ready to take the next trade. So there's a little bit of management you have to do with this, but it's really not too much. I mean, it's it's pretty much automated. If you have this set up with, with the alerts in Ninja, you can take these trades um, and get in, you know, instantly. So if there's any other questions you guys have, just shoot us an email. We're happy to make more videos, but that's all I've got for you today. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching Holy Grail Algo. Make sure to like, subscribe, and drop us some comments.